Let's move on now to a question from a viewer about the drug crisis. This person wanted to know if drug dealers can be charged with murder if they sell drugs to someone who ends up overdosing and dying. Seems kind of logical. And it also seems like it happens all the time. I saw a crew from the coroner's office picking up a body just blocks from the TV station here in Portland on Friday. It was in an area where I've often seen people doing drugs. Oregon has seen a massive uptick in overdose deaths. They've been climbing every year for the past four years. This is footage of an incident back in May when eight people in Portland died of overdoses in a single weekend. The Oregon Health Authority says in 2022, 934 people died of unintentional overdoses. Compare that to 2019 when the number was only 280, which is still way too many. So our Verify team looked into that question of whether drug dealers can face murder charges in Oregon. They found that for the most part, the answer is no. But there are still legal consequences for dealers in that situation. Here are the sources we used. The Prescription Drug Abuse Policy System at Temple University. The Action Lab at the Center for Health Policy and Law. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. And the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Oregon and Central California. But what we found is that no, Oregon does not allow prosecutors to charge drug dealers for murder if someone they sell to dies by an overdose. Lawmakers have tried to get a law locally on the books, but it has not taken off. Many states do have laws allowing for those kinds of charges, but not Oregon. A study this year from the Legislative Analysis and Public Policy Association found that about 31 states have laws on drug-induced homicide and drug delivery resulting in death. Oregon lawmakers did try to pass a similar law back in 2019. It was House Bill 2797. It would have created a sentencing enhancement for convicted drug dealers if someone died. It would have imposed a mandatory minimum prison sentence, but the bill died itself in committee, meaning it did not get very far. Turns out the idea of charging dealers for someone's death is somewhat controversial in some areas. The Drug Policy Alliance argues that it undermines Good Samaritan laws. There have been several cases where friends, family, and dealers have faced drug charges for calling for help when someone's overdosing. Advocates say laws holding dealers accountable for someone's death means they'll be less likely to call for help. But federal prosecutors do have more options than state prosecutors when it comes to charges and sentencing enhancements. For example, earlier this year, a Portland man named Daniel Weaver was sentenced to 12 years in prison. He sold fake oxycodone pills to, that were laced with fentanyl and a man in Hillsborough died. But he was not charged with murder or any kind of homicide charge, only drug charges like intent to distribute. But prosecutors were able to get a sentencing enhancement because of that Hillsborough man's death, and a higher level drug dealer in the same case got the same sentencing enhancement. In California last year, seven people were charged with distribution of fentanyl resulting in death. But not every federal case leads to charges in someone's death even if prosecutors can link the dealer to a deadly overdose. Interesting stuff. If you've got questions for our local Verify team, you can send them our way. Email the story at KGW.com or call and leave a voicemail. The number is 503-226-5090.